Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to Tungstor Farm. Alright, we got what's going on today. Uh, first off, let's grab our Deutzfahrt. So as you can see, this is the Deutzfahrt 140. Oh gosh, I forget which one it is now. It's not the 140. It's the other one. It is the 4.71. Anyways, it has a, I put the front loader on it, basically. That's what I was trying to say. So... Let's just close that door there. There we go. I put the front loader on it because uh, there's a couple times where having a front loader here would be helpful. And one of those times is right now. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and fire that up. That's funny. I don't know if you guys heard that startup sound. It was weird. Anyways, uh, let me show you what we're going to be doing here in just a moment. So, um, I brought around our Tatra truck here, and we're currently, we were using it to sell some steamed potatoes, uh, but our steamed potato, or potato, <coughs> not steamed potatoes, washed potatoes, our washed potatoes have stopped being washed, and it's because compost is now full. So, what I need to do is unload some of this compost. As you can see, I have a trailer here already set up, and I'm gonna go ahead and unload a little bit there. Uh, so I actually have a little bit of compost already in there, as you can see. It's actually a pretty nice little fill texture. I don't know how that's hitting, but apparently it is. Um, I don't understand, whatever. So yeah, we're gonna do this just a little bit, and just so we can get this potato washer working again. And uh, then we will move on. Um, one of the nice things about this little tractor is it's, it's pretty versatile um, for that kind of stuff. The only problem is the bucket is tiny. Um, I know there are modded buckets out there that you can get that have uh, that are huge, but this tractor has enough has a hard enough time with this small bucket. This is just a standard in-game bucket, basically. Uh, there we go. This is a standard in-game bucket, so. It's not a big problem for this tractor. Although sometimes, if you lift the, uh, if you lift it too high without a weight in the back, you'll definitely notice it. So I don't understand. Like if I were to look, we're probably not even close to it, but we're definitely hitting it. It's weird, eh? I think it's because the box of the actual uh, trailer itself, the box of the trailer is actually like a solid box, so. That's one of the problems why you can't put like logs in a trailer like that. Like I mean, I don't mean wood chips, I mean logs. Because what will happen is uh, it won't go into the actual trailer itself because there's like a, a solid box around it. But uh, I don't know, it's one of those weird things you just happen to notice. Anyways, let's do that. There we go. You can actually sell uh, compost on this map too. It's a possibility. Uh, how much is left? It's actually it's actually a bigger pile than you think too. So there's still 50% left. So it's another three loads, I guess. Um, so while this tractor is quite useful for this, um, it is kind of annoying because it takes forever. But it definitely gets the job done. Like this is where the telehandle actually is comes in. A bit more handy because like this is more like of a tractor like you know you do a couple couple loads and then that's it this one uh just because of the way it is you end up having to do like a ton of them it feels that way at least there we go and one more and that should be low enough so it actually works again there we go perfect and Apparently we got stuck. There we go. Don't know how we got stuck on that, but that's fine. All right, there we go. Finish that off. Uh, by the way, if you do have a, a joystick or a side panel, or the side panel, I should say, because there's only one of them for the farm sim, um, this type of work is actually, you know, not terrible. It used to be a little bit more annoying, but now it's not terrible. Anyways, you can do the same thing with potatoes here as well. Let's get a load of potatoes. There we go. And you can also put the potatoes right in here as well, which is kind of neat. 
And he, as you can see, the back half of this tractor, it's a little light for this kind of stuff. There we go. So this is going to need more potatoes than just that, but for the time being, that'll get the job done. Uh, fuel, 50%. Potatoes, 29%. And water, 57%. Compost, 25%. So still needs to have some more water taken out. Uh, so that'll start working again when, when it's ready. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, the truck we have over here with this trailer, this trailer will actually automatically load the the pallets, which is really neat. Although, kind of makes me sad that you can only have like four here because it adds up. You end up having four like pretty quickly. So anyways, let's go ahead and sell some compost because I don't think we've done that before. And I have no idea where to sell compost on this map. Uh, because we're using the non-soil mod version, uh, we can sell. We can we can sell the compost, but I don't believe you can use it with comp with uh, without having the soil mod installed. I'm not certain about that because I don't mess around with that very often. But uh, garden center, where on earth is the garden center here? It's a bit of a drive. Okay. All right, let's. Uh, I guess we can drive straight out here. Sure, why not? Probably should adjust the steering wheel first. There we go. I actually double checked to see if the 950 had an updated version, and there isn't. Uh, there's no updated version that I saw. Can I go north? No. Really? There's only one bridge. That seems like it's kind of like counterintuitive. Uh, we'll try it. We'll try it. it. Looks like there's a bridge around there, so. But uh, yeah, the 950, there wasn't any update to it, so. Uh, the dot updates the mesh. There may be in the future. I just haven't found it yet, so. But for the time being, there we go. So we got the rest of the potatoes harvested, as you can see. That's just a fallow field, basically, right now. Uh, waiting to be dealt with. Uh, but. We have some compost that we want to sell first, so that's why we're doing this. And the BGA is running nicely now. Um, I increased the feeding rate to 150% because I wanted to produce more energy so I can get more money. And uh, having the size start at 50% probably wasn't the best idea. I probably should have waited and got a bigger size. Uh, but BGA, but whatever. Technically, we can like you know start again, and if I let it uh, die down, I can start it up back up again. But it does cost you money to do that, so it is possible. Just kind of annoying. All right, it looks like there's a bridge over here. We're gonna find out. It looks like we are in business. Nice. That's what I was looking for. And then we're gonna go, what we're going to do is going to go head up north along this field up until we get to the road by the mix station, and then we'll head east. But lots of places on the map we still haven't been yet, actually. Uh, there's quite a few areas we haven't... Oh, there's a gate here. Didn't see that coming. Let's go ahead and open that gate. We don't have any cows here. So we'll just leave the gate open. This doesn't make a difference, there's no animals in there. I guess in real life you'd want to have a gate on there, so you can prevent people from getting into your field, but in the game it doesn't, uh, depending how realistic you want to play, if you want to be like, oh, I better open there and close the gate for the animals and all that. You can do that. It's not my thing. That's kind of interesting. So this over here is where the sheep are and there's a mixing station over here so what is this for this looks like it's for like this must be for sheep but we don't have any sheep yet but the way it's set up it looks like it's for cows I don't know if you get that feeling too but that's the feeling I kind of get just by the way it looks a little bit hmm let's go check over here real quick Looks like there's something over here, too. Uh, that's fertilizer and lime, I believe. 
And this is, oh, this is the pigs. Oh, okay, that makes more sense now. So here's our shop. These shops are really neat here. They don't have anything. You can't really do anything here. Uh, but they, I think they're kind of neat nonetheless. Because you got a little... It'd be cool if you could pick that up. Like, and use it a little bit. And yeah, these are the pigs here, so... We can just close that door. No, that was supposed to be close the door, not open the other one. There we go. Anyways, but... Uh, <laughs> That's me just exploring the map. There are cool, uh, some cool little areas on this map. Like, I don't know. Some I don't know if you can get, because some of the buildings you can probably get into, but not all of them. Uh, depending on where they are, uh, I discovered. Anyways, a little bit of storage. Let's uh, continue on our way here. Uh, another field that we didn't harvest. Because, uh, just haven't harvested it yet, I guess. Um, we'll get to it eventually. So we're going east now, then we're going to head on to the main road. And... Uh, yeah, we don't need to go all that round. Uh, we're going to the main road, and then we'll go to the garden center and sell this. It's not worth a whole lot, but we have it, so we might as well just sell it and see what it's like. Never sold compost before, so I thought I'd give it a go. I can't imagine it's that much different than selling anything else in this game, but... Just kind of interesting nonetheless. Alright, there's the horses again. And the garden center is not at the horse farm. So do I have to go that way? I will go that way for just for just 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 to look. There we go. There's the horse farm. Kinda neat. Looks like that's where you can sell silage, hay, straw. It's kind of cool. I think there are some maps where you can actually uh, where you can actually oh, there's another that's kind of random right there. What the heck is that? It looks like there's a bunker right here and there probably is. Yeah. It's not obvious but there is one there. And what is this? It's just, just, just a random storage area. Ooh, another gold coin. Nice. Huh. That's kind of a cool little storage building. I like this lean-to thing here. That's kind of neat. Anyways, let's go back to the tractor. At this rate, we'll never make it to the garden center. Keep getting distracted by things. All right. Welcome to Tungstorf. All right. Here is the... Oh, looks good. Worked out for us in the end anyways. Because the gate is right here to get into it. Now, is it an automatic gate? No. Uh, Alright. Now, I'm guessing... This is where you... Maybe it's where you buy it, actually. I wonder if you can buy stuff here. Let's see. Selling. Nice. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But uh, I'll, I'll turn it up so you can hear it, but pay attention to the RPMs of the tractor. So if you can hear that, the RPMs increased. I think that's really neat. Uh, I, th I think that's built into this tractor, because I didn't... In I know there's a script you can get that does that, but I have not done that yet, so... That, I believe, is just the, uh, just the tractor itself doing that, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. But as you can see, like right now that's at the top, the RPMs decrease, which is kind of cool. So we made 13 grand off that. Not terrible. Not the most lucrative thing in the world, but it's about equivalent to, I guess it would be corn, maybe? Something along those lines. Anyways. Let's get out of here and head south once again. Drive through a sign. Excellent. Cool. So yeah, selling compost. I don't know, one of the things I really like about this map is the fact that you can do so many random things on it. Like, uh, coming up here on the right is the... Uh, what do you even call this? The forest lease. So, like, can we actually drive through that? Alright, so I'll take you through the forest here. Um, so this is the forestry area on this map. 
trees, jeez. As you can see, there are a lot of trees. And uh, it's kind of interesting because the way they have it set up is... Uh, oh, that's random. A little well here. Mysterious well. Oh, they actually... Oh, so they actually have that mysterious well in here. I don't know if people remember that or not, but that's from... Uh, once you got... I think it's 10 coins, I think it is. I guess I haven't got 10 yet because it should show me where the rest of them are. But... Uh, this is kind of a treacherous little trail. I don't know why I decided to take it. Uh, but this is where the forestry is, so you can come in here with your... Uh, you can come in here with your uh, scorpion and take out everything here. It's kind of cool. A lot of little areas here. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I like this map, because it does have all these little kind of areas you can kind of explore. Oh, look, there's another gold coin. How many do I have now? Nine. I need one more. It would be cool if I could open that door up. Alright, that's what they get for exploring. Gold coins, they reward me for my exploration. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, this is one of the reasons why I like this map, because it does provide like a whole bunch of like random areas to explore and kind of look around, and it's all kind of a bit different. Um, many maps, like a lot of the maps I've played, um, don't all have this. Um, which kind of makes them a little, slightly less exciting sometimes, because they don't have these places where you can explore and... Oh, there's another gold coin there. Oh, this is the one that's going to reveal all the gold coins. Pow. Look at that. So that's where all the gold coins are. It's been a while, so I even... I haven't actually tried to look for the gold coins. I just happened to come across them in my looking around. But that is a forest. Kind of a neat little area. Uh, the map is pretty big though. It's one of those weird maps that kind of like is deceiving. Like it's not, it's not huge. It doesn't feel huge, but it actually is quite large in the end. So uh, that's like, I don't know. That's the kind of um, the type of map I actually enjoy. One second, coffee break. Mmm, morning coffee. All right, so we're gonna take this. Can we actually, uh... Yes, this is the one I wanted to take before, so let's just do a little... Exploration here. What do we got over here? So this is, oh, this is the cows. Oh, this is right. Probably should close this gate. Not that it makes a difference, but... It just looks funny. There we go. So... This is the cow pasture. Uh, I did look at the one field there to see how much it cost, and it is slightly out of our price range right now. Oh, with the BGA running night now, we may be able to purchase it in the near future. Because what I would like to do is uh, have a bunker of silage over here. So, like, we have this bunker right here. And we also have this bunker right over here. So these ones, are, I like these little bunkers right here because like they're kind of hidden. You don't realize what they are until you like kind of go up and take a look at them. So, at least that's, at least that's what I think. At least. So what we need to do next, I guess, the big thing is uh, seeding and planting all the fields. Uh, we only own like what two fields, three fields, technically. So we need to seed those and plant them. Uh, we could theoretically plant sugar beets. Sugar beets aren't as interesting as potatoes because with sugar beets, I don't, I don't have a potato, I don't have a sugar beet washer. I'm gonna, I, don't, I don't think they even wash sugar beets in the same way they do with potatoes. I'm not sure. I don't really, uh, I don't really uh, know as much about sugar beets as I do potatoes. Let's see if we can't find this one that's right over here. It looks like it's under the bridge or something. Or is it on top of the bridge? On the walkway? There it is, right there. Bam! Nice! Anyways, that'll be it for me for today. We found another gold coin. Anyways, that's it for me for today, folks. My name is Ian Robson. This has been an episode of Farming Simulator 2015, coming at you from Tum Store Farm. If you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys later.